Okay, so yesterday we just solved regular trig equations. Today we're going to be talking about quadratic trig equations, so you're going to have to be factoring. So if we look at the first example, I have 2 sine squared x minus sine x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so think about this as if it was just x squared and x. Okay, so what multiplies to be negative 2, because we have to do my father drives are missing, so 2 times negative 1, but adds to be negative 1. Okay, so that would be 2 and 1, the 2 is negative. Okay, then divide by your a, so that's 2. Reduce, so that's negative 1 over 1. So I have 2x minus, or 2x plus 1 and x minus 1. But I'm going to be using sine. So I'm going to have sine x minus 1 and 2 sine x plus 1. Okay, if I were to FOIL this back out, this is the answer I would get. Okay, equals zero. Then, as we did yesterday, we're going to take each piece and set it equal to zero. So I'm going to have sine x minus one equals zero, and two sine x plus one equals zero. Okay, if we like this, I'm going to add one to both sides. So sine x equals one. Okay, if you remember, these are both sine. So our period for sine is from zero to two pi. Okay, so where is sine, where's your sine value 1? Okay, your sine value is 1 at pi over 2. Yep. So x equals pi over 2. Okay, that's the only place where sine is 1. Alright, then let's keep solving here. So minus 1, minus 1, sine x equals negative 1, oh, 2 sine x, sorry. Divide by 2 to get rid of that 2. So sine x equals negative 1 half. So where is your sine value negative 1 half? And if we look at that on your unit circle, we'll find at 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Okay, so all of these are your answers to this system, or not system, um, trig equation. So moving on, example two, if I have two sine squared x minus three sine x plus one equals zero. Again, both sine. So I'm looking at the whole circle. Okay, <clears throat> I need to multiply. So two times one is two. Well, multiplies to be two, but it adds to be negative three. Negative two and negative one. A divided by your A, so this reduces. Put your sines back on. So this would be sine x minus 1, and this would be 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so set both equal to 0. So sine x minus 1 equals 0. That's the same as what we did in example 1 up here. So I know that this one is x equals pi over 2. Okay, then this one was a little different. Um, previously it was minus, so 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and then divide by 2. So now, where is your sine positive 1 half? Okay, so positive 1 half, your y value is at pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So those are your answers as well. Okay, so here you're factoring and finding the answers the same way we did yesterday. So these were real short notes. Um, your assignment is A7, page 396, numbers 21, 22, 29, and 30. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.